Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Android 15 Beta 4, which is the final release before the official Android 15. So let's go ahead and jump into it and see what we get with the new beta. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my Pixel 8 Pro here, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at what's new with Android 15 Beta 4. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into settings. So we'll go ahead and swipe down, go into settings. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll down until we get to system. And we now have a new option here, if we scroll down, that's called device diagnostics. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to do some basic diagnostics and troubleshooting on your Pixel device, which Google has released. So this is really cool. So the first one we have here is Component Health. And Component Health runs a manual test and views battery and storage health. We then have the evaluation mode. And this is going to allow you to connect to another device and do an evaluation on that device. So jumping into component health, we'll go ahead and go in here and we've got a couple tests here and some statuses. So the first test that we have is the display test. So if we go ahead and select this, it says it's going to now show you a series of screens, so RGB lights, and you're to let it know if the screen moves to the next one. So this is going to test your display. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And you can see here that we've got the red and if we touch it now, we've got a green and we've got blue, and now we're done. And so here it says, please select the option below that best matches the condition of the screen. So we have good with no obvious defects, or we have bad with screen has defects. So we're gonna go ahead and say good. So that's really nice that they've added um, these type of diagnostics to our phone. Next up, we have the touch test. So we'll go ahead and select that. And so now what it's going to do is it's going to show us a red screen and we're going to use our finger to swipe all over the screen until it's white. And what this is going to do is this is going to test the touch sensor on your display. So we'll go ahead and click continue. And so you can see it's all red here. So now if we just start swiping our finger across here, we're going to make it all white. So I'm just going to go ahead and go around the edges here. And then you need to make sure that you color all of this in or the test won't complete. So we want everything that's red to be white. And there we go. And so now it tells us the touch test results and it says the touch sensor test passed. So that's good. So we'll go ahead and click continue. So now we have a couple other options down here under the component status. So we have a battery status and a storage status. So let's go ahead and see what the battery status is. So we'll select that. And so what this shows us is the percentage of the original capacity of the battery. So it's showing my batteries at 100%. It shows the manufacturing date. So this was June 26, 2023. And first usage date was October 13th, 2023. And it shows the battery cycle count, uh, which this is not my daily driver. So it does have a lower cycle count, but it shows 59. So it's really nice to see that with Android 15. We go ahead and go back here then we've got the storage status so we'll go ahead and select that and so this is showing us the percentage of lifetime remaining in storage and the total capacity so 128 gb so this shows i have 98 percent lifetime remaining on my storage so um, these are really nice features that android has added um, to our devices, which is gonna be released with Android 15. Next up in beta four, they've gone ahead and brought back the adaptive sound, which was removed from the previous beta and beta three. So staying in the settings, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna scroll down until we get to sound and vibrations. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then we're gonna scroll down here until we get to adaptive sound, which is now back. So we can go ahead and turn this on and I haven't tested this out yet. We'll definitely be testing this out to see how it works, uh, if it's working in Android 15 with the official release. But it's nice that we have this back. So we'll be doing some more testing. So make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. 
Next up, we'll go ahead and swipe back here and we're going to go into a new section. Uh, so they renamed the display to display and touch. So now when we go in here, we have our options for display and also for touch. So it makes it a little bit easier. It's all grouped together. Uh, so right here, if we click on the brightness level, we get that brightness slider here. And there is a little bit of change in the brightness slider and the size. Uh, and it doesn't go all the way. It's not edge to edge. So on the previous version, it was going edge to edge. So that's one of the new things, uh, changes here in the display and touch. Okay, so looking at the Android 15 beta site, we're just going to kind of go over some of the bug fixes uh, that are included with this release. Uh, so this fixed additional issues that caused the lock screen to intercept touch input and prompt the user to unlock the device, even when interacting with elements on the lock screen that don't require a device to be unlocked. So that is one of the developer reported issues. Uh, there's an issue that was fixed with the contrast that made some of the elements in the quick settings tile hard to read. Uh, fixed an issue that is some rare cases caused some pixel devices to get stuck in an unbootable state if the device was factory reset shortly after an OTA system update was installed. So we've got that fix there. I haven't experienced any of these. Other issues that fixed an issue are sometimes Android virtual device using an Android 15 system image failed to launch if the AVD was launched in embedded mode. We have fixed an issue that sometimes caused an app notification settings to fail to be restored when st uh, restoring a device from a backup. So if you're restoring from a backup, looks like there was a bug that they fixed there. Uh, specific to the Pixel Fold devices, there was an issue that was fixed that prevented a user from continuing the face unlock enrollment if the device was folded or unfolded during the process. So if you're trying to do your face unlock and you were opening and closing the fold, uh, it looks like there was an issue there. Uh, it says various other issues that were impacting system stability, connectivity, performance, usability, and camera. There's some Bluetooth issues that were resolved. So a, a bug that prevented the digital car key app from performing low latency scans when running in the foreground. We have the uh, use head tracking codec capabilities to detect transport support in LE audio stack. Uh, they made a fix to prevent immediate rejection of Bluetooth pairing requests when there is a mismatch between the API suggested transport and the transport observed by the Bluetooth stack, potentially improving pairing success rates. Top open issues they have here is when an app window is transitioning to picture in picture, picture in picture window disappears if the device is rotated before the picture in picture transition finishes. So if you were doing a picture in picture and you rotate your device into landscape, then it looks like that uh, picture in picture disappears. And feel free to go ahead and scroll through here. There's a bunch of other stuff here uh, talking about Android Studio and tools and all kinds of stuff. But uh, if you're enjoying the video, please make sure to uh, give us a like. Consider subscribing to our channel and always click the bell notification so you're updated when new videos are uploaded. As always, appreciate you watching and we'll catch you in the next video.